Verana Financing Podcast. I'm Christine Mills. Today we are going to be discussing what small businesses can learn from Disney World. But before I begin, I just wanted to let you all know, if you haven't subscribed to the Veranda Financing Podcast, please head on over to iTunes or Stitcher and subscribe. Also, if you haven't, visit www.verandafinancing.com to get lots of resources to help you grow your businesses. And I just wanted to share with you that I recently completed um, custom business plan templates for everyone. I have heard and spoken to lots of entrepreneurs who are in the process of applying for loans, um, SBA financing, and one problem they're having is the business plan. And I know especially the Excel spreadsheets. So I thought it'd be a good idea to create Excel spreadsheets that you can use and you could just input your information, your financial information into it, and you can use it for your business plan. So it'll be one less step for you to deal with. And um, I think it'll be very helpful. Uh, so just check it out. It's again on veranafinancing.com. Today, I'm very excited about our 23rd episode. And my goal for the end of the year is to have 100 episodes of the podcast. So if you know anyone who would like to be featured on the podcast, please be sure to email me at info at verandafinancing.com or DM me on Instagram at verandafinancing. So I just want to get into this episode. I um, recently went to Disney World um, and I had such a great time. And, you know, I grew up in Florida, so I've been to Disney World quite often, I think probably about 20 times. And um, I have to admit, I looked at the park through different lens as a parent and as a small business owner. And I thought it would be helpful to compile a list for all of you of the top reasons why um, Disney World is still rocking years later and what we can learn as small business owners. So, number one. Always surprise your customers. The rides, the scenery, the fireworks show, the characters, the large turkey egg legs, the countries of Epcot all strive to surprise the customers at Disney. There are parts of every ride that are somewhat unexpected, which makes the time all the more spectacular. One thing that you can start right now as a small business owner to um, take this lesson from Disney World is to find ways to surprise your customers by giving more than they expected. Whether it's a bonus product, free webinar, or free content, always find a way to go that extra mile. One thing that I noticed, especially when we were leaving Disney World, was um, they had people with like gloves on their hands um, and they're giving us high fives as we're leaving. And um, a friend of ours who works at Disney World, she said, you know, we're very aware that people sacrifice a lot to bring their kids to Disney World and they have high expectations and they really want to maintain that expectation. Some people save for years to have their children have a chance of going to Disney World. So I think that was just so awesome that they respect that and they honor that with every little um thing that they do in every detail. So they're giving high force to us as we're leaving. And I just thought that was amazing. Number two, engage the senses. When you walk into Magic Kingdom, you smell popcorn and confectionaries. You see the iconic castle and well-maintained landscaping. And you continue walking and you'll see characters throughout the park and even experience certain parts of your favorite Disney movies. We enjoyed a sandwich at Gaston's Tavern. One of my favorite Disney movies is Beauty and the Beast. So it was really cool to be in that area. And I felt like I was actually in the movie. So do now. One thing that you could do now as a small business owner is to find ways to engage the senses. So depending on the industry that you are in, you can get really creative. If you own a retail location, what do your customers smell or see when they enter? If you own an online company, what does your website tell about your company? What images are you using on your social media platform? And right now, it's super easy to make yourself look like a million bucks, even if you're a startup. Um, I love Squarespace. Um, I think it's just a great way to start your website from scratch. Uh, I think Shopify is really good if you have a com e-commerce website. Um, WordPress is good. So check out uh, websites with templates that you could really impress your customers um, and engage the senses with a dose of your personality. 
Number three, make the wait time enjoyable. I get it. Those lines at Disney are really long depending on when you go. But they really try their best to make the wait time go by as quickly as possible. The two lines that were long but didn't quite feel as long because of the scenery for me was Peter Pan Flight, one of my favorite um, rides at Disney uh, Magic Kingdom, and the Frozen After Ever After ride, um, which was one of my favorite rides at Epcot. With Peter Pan, I actually felt as if I was in the children's home in London and you were able to play with these butterflies that they projected on the screen and ring doorbells. And it was really neat. Like it really helped the 90 minute wait time. I know. Um, Go by. And with Frozen Ever After Ride, we felt as if we were in Arendelle. The kids especially enjoyed walking through the sauna and I felt as if they were in the movie themselves. It was really neat. Um, you really felt like you kind of were transported to this um, Scandinavian country. One thing that you could do right now is to put yourself in the customer's shoes. Um, so to make your wait time enjoyable, is there any other way to make your wait time less arduous? Perhaps you can have another staff member walk down the aisles, taking orders or set up a kiosk throughout your retail space. Martha Stewart once said, don't make it hard for people to do business with you. So if you have an e-commerce site, if you're online, make it easy for people to navigate through your website because time is of the essence and a lot of us really don't have a lot of it. Number four, create the need to buy with no pressure. Disney does not apologize for selling merchandise on every corner, but they do it in such a way that it doesn't even feel like they're selling. No one is shouting out, step right up for your popcorn. Hot peanuts right over here. No one is telling you to step up to anything. They just pop the popcorn at the right time, at the right place. The kids will smell it and ask the parents for popcorn. Although I don't believe in the build it and they will come theory. I do believe, however, that if you build it, present it to the right customers and provide a good product, they will buy. So do now um, stop apologizing for selling products, especially when it can be of service to others. Try to find ways of presenting its value to your target market and meeting pain points. So really find what you, who you're helping and what you're helping to alleviate. And once you wrap your mind around that, it'll be so much easier to sell to people. Number five, layer your customer experience. And this is what really got me as I'm starting out with Verano Financing. One of the reasons Disney is magical is because most people have interacted with Disney on some level or the other. Whether it's watching your favorite Disney movie, cartoon on Disney Junior, or simply walking into a Disney store in your neighborhood mall, we have all experienced a Disney experience. That's one of the reasons Disney can carry on with the products through shows, merchandise, cruises, and rides, you name it. So the one thing you could do right now as a small business owner is to find ways to layer your products. I I liken it to cosmetics or like when you're um, doing your facial treatments. There's the scrub, there's the moisturizer, there's the exfoliant, there's the... um, um, the cleanser, the toner. I I like to use that three step process each morning and each evening, but it's all about layering. And then the makeup is layering the foundation. I know that, sorry guys, if you can't relate, but it's, I, I just instantly thought of that whole process of makeup and, um, facial treatments and also clothing during the winter time and the fall layering, um, And I think even for business, we have to find ways to layer our products. You may start with an introductory product that can introduce your customers to your business. Then customers can choose to level up their commitment as they fall in love with your brand. And I'm just going to insert this now um, as a way to give you a heads up what I'm working on for Verena Financing. I am going to be starting a YouTube channel and um, this will be my way of layering (laughs) our product here um, to let you know what's going on and another way to kind of help people with the process of growing their business and the finance part of financing your business and pitching and 
um, doing your business plans and also leveling up with your revenue by getting the right capital. And I think that's a part of business that is usually lost is the fact that in this bootstrapping culture of um, people like, you know, shaming you if you have to get outside financing. Um, I really want to look at different ways we can finance our vision so that we could grow our company. So the best way I thought to layer that customer experience is not only through my blogs, which you'll see on our website, um, verandafinancing.com, not only through my podcast, but also to provide a bi-monthly uh, YouTube channel where I'm going through um, things that a lot of people aren't talking about. Um, such as projections. How do you do projections in Excel? How do you do pitches? How do you find the right investors for your company? How do you level up? So that's just one thing um, I will be incorporating in our business um, is to layering the customer experience and to meet people where they are. And also to provide webinars as um, ways for people to learn more about the financing part of their business. And the last one that I learned from uh, Disney is always end your customer experience with magic. Even the most unimpressed child easily falls for the magic of the fireworks show at Disney World. Each theme park puts on their own fireworks show, which is sure to wow every generation. It was amazing. I really enjoyed that part. And my kids, they loved it. My husband, he loved it. It was just such a great ending to a long day. Do now as a small business is I love to buy products from stores that package the merchandise in a box with the bow. Call it frivolous, but I think it adds to experience with the brand. Find ways you can add that extra touch to your brand and will make your customers leave your place of business with a smile. So just to recap today, um, the six top lessons you can learn from Disney World is one, Always surprise your customers. Find ways to give them the unexpected and give them more than they thought they were going to get. Number two, engage the senses. Um, Find ways to um, make your place smell good. Make your online company look very appealing. Your social media. Find ways to use images to really bring your point home and to make it enticing. Number three, make the wait time enjoyable um, along the line of making it easy for people to do business with you. Number four, create the need to buy with no pressure. Stop apologizing for selling products, especially when it can be of service to others. Try to find ways of presenting its value to your target market and meeting pain points. Number five, layer your customer experience. Find ways to layer your products um, with an introductory product and then you introduce um, different levels to a customer as they fall in love with your brand. Number six and last is always in your customer experience with magic. So um, find ways to add that extra touch to your brand that will make your customers leave your place of business with a smile. And I hope after listening to this podcast, you are inspired to take your business up a couple of notches. Um, and thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I really appreciate you tuning in and have a great week, um, depending on when you listen to this. I hope you're enjoying your summer, those in um, North America. And um, if you would like to learn more about Verena Financing, please be sure to visit uh, www.verandafinancing.com. Um, I'm also active on Instagram. I have a Facebook page as well at Verena Financing, all at Verena Financing. And be sure to check out the customized business plan templates. I think it'll be very helpful for you to get over that hump of presenting your business plans. Have a great day and God bless you. Bye.